Hello, I'm Rob Becerra, Public Information Officer for the City of Roseville Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the City of Roseville near the Highway 80 to Highway 65 interchange ramp on January 15th, 2019. This was the first and only officer-involved shooting for 2019. We had no officer-involved shootings in 2018. In this presentation, you will see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so that you can have a better understanding of what occurred. The City of Roseville Police Department, with assistance from the Placer County District Attorney's Office, conduct very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require several weeks of investigation to analyze the available forensic evidence, interview multiple witnesses, and review any video footage. Any officer-involved shooting incident is reviewed internally by the involved agency or agencies and externally by the Placer County District Attorney's Office for compliance with the law. In either case, no conclusions are drawn until the investigation is complete. A word of caution, the images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I'm Captain Josh Simon of the Roseville Police Department. I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that occurred on the evening of January 15th, 2019. At approximately 7.40 p.m., the Roseville Police Department was notified by the Placer County Sheriff's Office that a shooting had just taken place near Taylor Road and King Road in Loomis, California, which is in the Placer County Sheriff's jurisdiction. The reporting party claimed an unknown suspect fired several shots into their vehicle, occupied by an adult male and his 11-year-old daughter. The adult male sustained serious injuries from this shooting. The Sheriff's Office also provided a description of the suspect vehicle. It was described as a black, full-size truck towing a motorcycle on a trailer. Roseville police officers began to conduct an area check on Taylor Road in Roseville, as well as Interstate 80 westbound. These areas bordered a possible escape route for the suspect in the event he fled through Roseville. At 8.15 p.m., the Rockland Police Department advised the Placer County Sheriff's Office Dispatch Center of a report of a firearm being brandished at a convenience store on Sierra College Boulevard near Interstate 80. The suspect involved was described as wearing a dark football jersey with bright numbers and he was associated with a black full-size truck. Hearing this report, Roseville police officers were dispatched towards the city of Rockland to provide assistance. It was believed that this second incident was connected to the first reported shooting. While some officers were en route to the city of Rockland, another Roseville police officer advised he had responded to a vehicle accident on westbound Interstate 80 near the Highway 65 on-ramp. Witnesses on scene of the accident claimed that it was caused by an erratic driver in a black full-size truck towing a trailer. Witnesses also reported that the suspect was still at the scene of the accident. This third incident was believed to be connected to the previous two. Simultaneously, the Roseville Police Department Communication Center was advised that a citizen had been shot on Rock Springs Road in Placer County and sheriff deputies were on scene providing emergency aid to the victim. The victim later died on scene. The shooting on Rock Springs was believed to be committed by the suspect from the previous three incidents. At 8.32 p.m., Roseville police officers located a vehicle at the bottom of an embankment off of the right shoulder of the northbound Highway 65 on-ramp near the scene of the reported traffic collision. The vehicle matched the description, as earlier reported by witnesses, as the same black truck towing a trailer with a motorcycle. Multiple officers and deputies from the Roseville Police Department, Placer County Sheriff's Department, and the California Highway Patrol responded to the location and converged and contained the crash site. At this point, Officers from each jurisdiction believed that the suspect was connected to each of the four reported incidents and was wanted by law enforcement for murder, felony assault with a firearm, and brandishing a firearm. The officers reasonably believed that the suspect was armed with a firearm and was to be considered dangerous. 
The video you're about to watch was taken from an in-car dash camera from one of the responding agencies. Please use caution for sensitive viewers. The video will begin as the officer drives up the northbound Highway 65 on-ramp. As you can see, the conditions are rainy and it's dark outside with minimal surrounding light. The officer is moving his vehicle into position to illuminate the area where the suspect vehicle was located. Several officers were already at the location watching the suspect vehicle. At this time, officers believe the suspect is still inside the vehicle and are making commands for the suspect to exit the vehicle. You're about to see the suspect, later identified as Stanley Stepanski, walk around the front right side of the vehicle. As he appears in the video, you'll also see him holding a handgun and point it directly towards officers. In response to what the officers and deputies on scene believed to be an imminent threat to their lives and in order to stop that threat, six officers fired upon the suspect, striking him several times. The suspect fell to the ground and lowered the weapon. Officers and deputies ceased fire after the threat had been mitigated. Just prior to the recognition of a weapon and the officers firing upon the suspect, a Placer County Sheriff's canine was deployed as a less lethal option once deployed, the canine could not be recalled once the gunfire erupted. The canine was shot one time during the gunfire, but survived this incident. A handgun was recovered from the scene near the suspect. It was later confirmed by forensic evidence this was the weapon used in the crime series leading up to the officer-involved shooting and is the weapon the suspect drew upon the officers. We'll now show you the video again without pause or commentary. After this moment, officers then moved in on the suspect, and once the scene was safe, multiple officers began life-saving efforts. Roseville Fire Department paramedics also responded to provide medical assistance. Although efforts were made to save his life, the suspect was pronounced deceased at the scene. If the suspect would have survived, he would have faced several charges, including murder, possession of an unlicensed firearm, possession of a controlled substance, assault with a deadly weapon, and brandishing a firearm. The Roseville Police Department was the lead investigating agency for this officer-involved shooting because the incident happened within the jurisdictional boundaries of our city. The other four reported incidents were investigated by the Placer County Sheriff's Department, the Rockland Police Department, and the California Highway Patrol. We are releasing the video now because the reviews have been completed and all of the investigative agencies have determined this use of force was within law and policy. This use of force incident was deemed justifiable because the involved officers reasonably believed, based on the totality of the circumstances, that deadly force was necessary to defend against an imminent threat. 